Hello and welcome back, and I don't know why I suddenly went over to, to Australia, and I think that's part of the scrolling technique, uh, not technique, uh, mechanism. And, right, I had a quick check of my hard drive, and I asked it, are you ready for a massive, for a massive battle? Uh, a ma battle to end all battles? And it said, I'm a hard drive. And, but I didn't actually say anything, I put the words into its mouth. So I'm going to lower that to a 6, um, I can't actually use this treasury card anywhere. What I can do is Civic Eureka, Commerce Eureka. I don't want to use a sabotage, it's going to be a bit... Okay, I'm going to use sabotage just for the sake of completeness, I'm going to take the Mississippi Valley away from them. With its... Tobacco? Not really. Tobacco is more sort of... Up there if my games are playing colonisation then to go by. It's more sugar down here. Oh, I'm about taking three. Uh, that also had clues as to what parts of the US fight the bot. And also there's, you know, the studying that I did, you know, properly university and stuff. So, that's it, I've <laughs> completely surrounded them. And uh, the Eureka. Cultural dominance, that's always a good one. It takes away their power, so they're just a standard... Uh, they don't get any disadvantages, no, but no advantages from being their uh, um, particular civilization. Military Eureka, Great Thinker, Eureka, and that's that's it. Okay, so are you ready for <laughs> the most phenomenal, uh, phenomenally overpowered attack? So we've got Parsons, Food Economic Boon, Military Eureka, Korea Oath the Fealty, Commerce Eureka, French Oath the Fealty, Science Eureka, Trade Embargo. Timber Economic Boom, Great Thinker, Civic Eureka, Mongol Oath of Fealty, Civic Eureka, Commerce Eureka, Knowledge Economic Boom, Eureka, Cultural Dominance, uh, Knowledge Economic Boom, Military Eureka, Great Thinker, and Eureka. I believe this is, this is going to... Uh, the awesomeness will break the machine, I imagine. So here we go. Because they used knowledge economic boom and metal economic boom. How tragic. Just tragic. So begin. And actually, um, I know I wouldn't do this, but I'm going to pause the game just so I can look at the library. Look at, look at that. <laughs> that is really something. I can build eight cities right off the bat and look at how far by... <laughs> I've got to have a bit of fun with this one. Oh, what have you got a, a lumber mill? Ah, how? Is it because... Uh... Oh, the French of the fealty. Well, I need you to go out and explore. But little exploring interest in them. And because you've got, I've got a high tech level, he's going to bring in a load of resources from uh, just discovering ruins. Uh, actually, build a temple. Oh, I've got a temple. Uh, build a market then.
Right, I want you to build a city there. I want you to build a city there. And I need a few more citizens to, you know, look busy. You build a university. You build a senate. Um, build an oil well. You build another oil well. And you can't afford to build an oil well, but never mind. And then merchants are going to be very valuable in this because of all the research upgrades we're going to get to bring in quite a few resources. So research for public, social contract. Can't afford literacy, but never mind. Reinforcements have arrived, like I needed them. <laughs> I'm so overwhelmed with what to do that uh, it's, effects, it's hampering my performance. I'll look at the free, free citizens that I get. Uh, with the with the city, because of the Korean power of whatever uh, tradition I think it is. And that's why I started with the temple as well. appears in the uh, industrial age is oh, it's always very useful I'll go into the modern age just to um, in three minutes this is this is insane <laughs> I just can't spend my resources fast enough This is going to turn to a uh, major city fairly quickly. And what are they? Barracks, barracks. Forgot my auto plant. By my reckoning, having three cities with five farms and a granary is usually enough no matter what your tech level is. I suppose most of the map covered, covered up with, you know, just the three cities. I can now build five more. I believe I may just do. I'll research allegiance and go all the way up to nationalism, I believe. And let's upgrade. You notice they're starting to get pretty, you know, modern now, on account of the fact of the era that we're in. Let's turn into a bustling place fairly quickly. Oh, uh, air bases actually have a, a use now. It's always good to have three. Two for the bombers, one for the fighters. Oh, 
Now they're getting some attrition damage, but not enough. So I'm going to research something. There we go. Over the fealty once they get to it. Crop rotation, cold casting. Look how cheap all these. Um, Alright, you two are going to be my bomber bases. So I don't, I don't know why I bother building uh, siege factories because I can use the bombers. Uh, build caravans to build wealth. That's a good idea. Four, five, six, seven. And then some merchants. Am I gloating now? Am I sort of so confident in my own success that I'm feeling the need to show off? I don't need that many systems. Alright. God, that was, that was harsh. Still, I've got a population cap to worry about. Um. Oh, missile silos. Cool. Well, I'll, I'll get one of those. Oh, it's Q. That's the um, shortcut for a refinery. You've got a refinery. You don't have a refinery. Build a refinery. Well, this is what uh, air power looks like. In this game, anyway. I just think that's given them something to think about. Now move you folks over there. Have you just sort of stopped his attacks? for good measure, so a couple of howitzers, which are also really good. I just have how much more fluid the move, the uh, the combat is compared with the industrial age. And I, as I say, I think it's a very good mechanic, just to show how slow. Uh, First World War was compared to lots of other wars. In fact, you find in this game. Oh, now I can get nukes. You find in this game that uh, conquest actually gets faster and faster. I don't know if you've ever played the Alexander the Great campaign, but because you're stuck in the classical age all the way through, you have to use catapults, and catapults aren't very good. Um, Yeah, catapults aren't very good. Um, where are my howitzers? Siege weapons, compared to, say, I don't know, howitzers. In fact, you return home because you're getting shot down. And you, you're number two. You can build fighters. Research steel, uh, international law and selective service, supercomputers, medicine. Okay, now you're not getting shot down. Take out JJ. You notice that I can see his, his borders now because he's Lakota, but I'm culturally dominant or whatever the trait was. Oh, he wants an air battle, do you? I'm sending the fighters. I remember how hard it was to take the uh, whatever that city was that um, 
with, against the French and it required a massive troop sacrifice. That was comparatively easy, if I say so myself. I'm going to bring these people in to shoot civilians because armoured scout cars are good against civilians, apparently. That's a lot of um, spare citizens. I see he's got his uh, he's got his fighter planes up there. I've got my fighter planes up there. It is, it's their First World War and Second World War, respectively. I'm not bad at uh, ground bombs as well, look at that. Ah, when they don't run out of fuel. Pharmaceuticals, nuclear missiles, selective service. I'm just about done. Where are the howitzers? Oh, here's an interesting thing. When you get to the industrial age and the modern age, Pull back. Your unit check sprites change based on what side of each respective war you were in. Ooh, look at that attrition. I'll try. I'll say that again, but sounding a bit less camp. Ooh, look at that look, <laughs> Ooh, look at that attrition. Ooh. Yeah, houses are so good that um, oh, it's good for nuclear weapons. That's nice. Houses are so good that these that's using um, bombers is just a, a matter of you know uh, taste. Talking of good taste, I'm going to shoot these civilians. Well, my troops are, and I'm not going to give a damn. Actually, they're getting a bit far out of the uh, out into the road now. So yeah, the sprites change. The German, the German tanks, uh, <coughs> German infantry, infantry will be wearing the grey uniforms and the rest of it. And the tanks will be, first of all, the First World War, big clunky tanks that the Germans had. Um, Second World War, they get their own unique unit, the Leopard tank. And air bases take forever to knock down. Yeah, but countries like the Italian, the, like the, the the Romans, it assumes they morph into the Italians, and the, the sprites start to look a bit, you know, Italian. So what they ought to do is rebuild my air, <coughs> air bases. Because those are a bit distant. Which I know they're not. And now attack 
these defensive structures, that's a very good target to send your bombers on. Because of course there's nothing... Apart from running out of fuel, there's nothing that can be done. for the um, anti-aircraft guns <laughs> and there's no more research for me to do what a way to end the game full research I didn't even get to the information age let's build a nuke I think it'll probably be done by then, but I can say that I built one. And now attack that tower. It's a very, very cautious attack. Well, I think I may have left my CEO behind. Because, of course, what's a, what's a business leader doing in the middle of combat? Seriously, where is he? Oh, some troops are healing over there. I'm not entirely sure why there. I'd be ashamed not to have these uh, CEO there. He's a long line of uh, patriots, uh, I believe the game calls them. There's the very same thrones and or patriots that are um, in the title of the uh, expansion pack. I keep pressing comma and get to them eventually. So I presume he's doing nothing useful. There he is. Maybe if you had built more howitzers. Only two. He's just kind of given up. Which is fair enough. I might finish, I'll finish this game off now. I've, I've stretched it out to 20 minutes. If I had been as rapid as I was last when I was talking about the Mongols, I could have done it in half the time, I imagine. Look at the score, 27,840 to 2,267. Look at the achievements. Uh, I won. Really. Built cities, five cities, captured five cities. Lost 26 units, killed 100. 19 rare resources, that's what I'd like to see. And I'm uh, going to exit to the strategic map and hear the, ad the applause and adulation from somebody. There we go. Copernicus of the Inca. It should be the new guy for, but I didn't get around to, uh, to renaming it. One by one you have vanquished your enemies and united all the nations under your glorious banner. Uh, throughout the ages, your name will be remembered as the one who succeeded where all those others have failed. You have conquered the world. Fifteen turns, one overrun, that was to take Brazil if you remember. Eleven nations defeated, uh, the others defeated themselves. Uh, Eighteen battles slash victories, and fifty-nine uh, territories conquered. And a total of eight minutes, fifty-nine seconds, eight hours, 59 minutes spent in battles. That doesn't include uh, time spent slowly, time spent paused, time spent 
talking about my strategy, time spent editing, time spent doing what not. Probably closer to 10, 12, possibly even double that. And um, wish I had. I know that 18 is quite a, a leap from 10 or 12. Well, it's quite a it's quite a significant uh, consumption of your time, and it's nice that it tells you in the same way. Um, games like Final Fantasy tell you how long you've been playing, just so you know how much of your life you've been missing out on when you reach your 80th hour and you still haven't got to the Northern Crater yet to finish off Sephiroth, but that's another, that's another story for another. And no, I'm not making an LP of Final Fantasy, there's a very good one by uh, Get Dave, search for him, he does fantastic ones. He does a good job of explaining the storyline, but that's, that's, you know, another game, another YouTuber. Uh, whatever. So... Well, conquered 100%. Sometimes you don't always have to conquer the world. You might run out of time, or you might ally with somebody, or you might do something like that. But a bit of a purist in that respect. Hmm. Yeah, that's 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 that sort of. It's now 20 past nine. I suppose I ought to finish my um, sit by myself some tour at uh, Alien Crossfire. Let's play after this, and I'll get some to start on something else. Um, you can't comment on channels anymore can you perhaps because nobody was doing it but if anybody wants me to do anything just drop a comment in any of the videos it all comes through to the inbox um the total of about 10 comments so far I, I read them all and i appreciate them and i reply to at least a few i'd like to get a bit of feedback uh when you put in eight hours 59 minutes so let's look and see what the, the map looks like Kind of how you'd expect. Now I don't recall getting any bonuses for conquering uh, Europe. Maybe that was a bit of a glitch. Hmm. Really? So I'd start the next battle against other uh, aliens with 100 plus 100 food plus 40 timber plus 110 wealth plus 60 metal plus 50 knowledge, but no extra oil because the rare resources aren't available at the beginning of the game and new ones don't suddenly crop up in territories as they're doing on the map. So, what's there to say really? Um, I hope you learned something from the way I play. I've got to the industrial age, that's 6 and 12, no, what? About 9 turns early. Uh, you have to be brave, you have to take on the capital provinces, gamble a lot on the tribute cards, because um, you might end up with a lot of sabotages and treacheries, they're always good ways to go. Um, yeah, if you notice one of the world cards, take the territory rather than the capital of the country he was taking it from, because otherwise you don't get the card. Um, more re rare resources make for easier battles. And enjoy yourself and another way of making it an enjoyment is to make it into an LP and load onto YouTube for other other fellows and uh, fellows and philosophers on the internet to um, to enjoy so uh, and that's rather um, that's what I'm looking for uh, thoughtful conclusion if I say so myself I'm going to leave it here I will thank you very much for watching um, I imagine by the time you get around to watching this I'll have done it I'll have finished this quite a while ago but it's nice of you to watch all the way through it's that's a significant amount of time on your quite an investment in your time to watch them uh, not as much as in my time to play them but again I am playing and not just watching so thank you very much for the time that you put into watching these and uh, if you uh, comment and like and subscribe or something like that um, it's, 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 I'd be, it's be, uh, I'd be, I'd be delighted, I'd be thrilled um, so I will see you at the next Let's Play and I'm bad at, I'm bad at, uh, bad at goodbyes. I feel like we've been through something together. Um, yeah, I will see you next LP. 
Uh, thank you very much. You've been a, a lovely audience.